Held on July 12, 1927, the Lake George Swimming Marathon was the grandest and most grueling swim race the world had ever seen. More than 140 elite swimmers from six countries and nearly every state in the Union descended on the lake to battle each other and the 24-mile course for the Freshwater Swimming Championship of the World and a $5,000 prize that today would be worth nearly $75,000. Most of the competitors had been living in lakeside hotels in the weeks leading up to the contest, training in the bitterly cold waters and competing against one another in high-stakes races. These contests, borrowing a page from ancient Greek practice, were often initiated by pinning challenges to the walls of buildings around the village. George Caldwell found one such notice affixed to his pharmacy by the great William Sadlove, who wagered $200 against anyone willing to take him on in a five-mile swim. By the morning of the race, newspapers estimated that as many as 100,000 spectators were on hand to witness the longest freshwater swim that had ever been attempted. They crowded the starting area near Trout House Resort in Hague, lined both sides of the lake, and even watched the action from yachts, canoes, and rowboats. New York State Governor and future presidential candidate Al Smith was in attendance, and Jack Dempsey, former heavyweight champion of the world and one of the most famous celebrities of his era, took a break from training in Saratoga to fire the starter's pistol that sent the swimmers on their way. Among the star-studded throng that set out at 9.45 that morning were four who had already successfully swum the English Channel. World record holder George Michel of France and German champion Ernst Vierkater were popular choices to take first place. Lottie Moore Schommel, famous for swimming the Hudson River from Albany to New York City, was another front-runner as were the internationally known Zittenfeld twins, who had recently broken Mrs. Schommel's record for the Hudson River swim. The Queen of American Lakes, though, had her own plans. Water temperatures along the route never topped 59 degrees, and in some spots dipped as low as 45. This bone-chilling cold, combined with a persistent headwind, steadily eliminated one big name after another from the race. At 4 p.m., only 35 swimmers remained. An hour later, that number had dwindled to less than 20. And when three in the morning rolled around, after more than 17 hours of swimming, there were only five. The leader was an unheralded 24-year-old swim instructor from New York City named Edward F. Keating. Keating, who grew up swimming in the East River, was 10 miles ahead of the nearest competition and only two miles from the finish line at the Fort William Henry Pergola. He would ultimately go on to be the marathon's only finisher, crawling ashore at 4.32 in the morning after 18 hours, 47 minutes, and 18 seconds in the freezing, choppy water. Later in the week, Lake George Post 374 of the American Legion presented him with the $5,000 prize, real estate in the area, a loving cup, and the title of freshwater swimming champion. At the time, though, nothing beat the warm, dry bed and well-earned sleep that awaited him up at the fort.